Hello guys welcome back to our anime explainer. Guys please like the video and subscribe to my channel thank you. Today is explanation of upcoming episode of Renegade Immortal based on novel. So let's start. Wang Lin hesitated a bit, then said to the old man, Senior, are we just going like this? The old man waved his hand and made two straw hats appear. Wear this. Unless someone is two cultivation levels above you, they won't be able to see your appearance. This is something I've saved for a long time. When you are done, you have to return it to me, he said. Wang Lin caught the hat, scanned it with his divine sense, and was immediately shocked. Although this straw hat looked normal, there were secrets hidden within it. Using his divine sense, he found that the hat contained countless restrictions that he had never seen before. They were comparable to ancient restrictions. And this was only the outer layer of restrictions. As for the restrictions in the center, Wang Lin couldn't even check that far with his divine sense in such a short period of time. Wang Lin had decided that no matter what, he won't be returning this hat. If anything, he will just have to make a few more carvings. When the old man wore the hat, a golden light surrounded him. When Wang Lin tried to scan the old man, the golden light inflicted pain on him. Wang Lin took a deep breath. The desire to keep the straw hat became even stronger as he silently put it on. The old man looked at Wang Lin as his right hand formed a very strange seal and pointed to the air. Suddenly, a giant ghost appeared in the air. As it appeared, the surrounding spiritual energy violently gathered toward the ghost. Almost immediately, the ghost became solid and became a giant in golden armor holding a sword. The giant's face was grim. It was as if it was an evil god, revealing a violent aura. It angrily stared at the location the old man pointed to. The old man proudly shouted, Gold, smash. The golden armored giant waved its sword without a word. Suddenly, a beam of golden light appeared. It was as if the sun was crashing down. The beam flew across the sky. Suddenly, in the distance, violent ripples appeared. The ripples became more and more violent, until a light screen shattered into tiny pieces with a loud bang. Shortly after, the golden armored giant let out a snort and gradually faded. The old man immediately mumbled in dissatisfaction. Wang Lin could kinda hear that the old man was scolding the golden armored giant for being lazy, the moment the screen shattered, a wave of energy immediately spread out from the point of the impact. This energy was filled with destructive power. Wang Lin's expression suddenly changed. Just as he was about to dodge, the old man waved his hand and a pillar appeared before Wang Lin, blocking the energy wave. Then, Wang Lin looked at old man. He was standing in the energy wave and seemed to be enjoying it. As the energy wave finished spreading out, the area suddenly changed and buildings appeared one by one. These buildings floated on the clouds and emitted rainbow-colored lights. This place looked like the celestial realm. A middle-aged man wearing a blue robe flew out from the group. This person's face was pale and his eyes had no light. His eyes were like Wang Lin's, revealing a clear difference between black and white. They revealed an extraordinary light. After he walked out, he clasped his hands and said, the two of you broke my white cloud sex grand formation. If you don't explain this, then the two of you should just stay here. The old man snorted. He waved his hand and took out a bamboo chair. He placed it in the air, sat down on it, then said, I don't care. I'm just a hired hand. He asked me to come, so talk to him. The middle-aged man revealed a hint of dread in his eyes, but the person he was dreading wasn't Wang Lin. It was the old man. After hearing the old man's words, his gaze fell on Wang Lin. He said, fellow cultivator, has my white cloud sect offended you before? Wang Lin pondered a little. Then, without a word, he took out a normal flying sword from his bag of holding. He lightly shook the sword and imprinted his divine sense onto it. Then, crackling sounds followed as the sword transformed into a small, silver ball, because the white cloud sect has many soul formation cultivators, I wish to challenge them all. I hope you can forgive my intrusion. With that, he suddenly moved his right hand to form a seal and pointed at the silver ball. The silver ball suddenly flew out, creating sonic booms. It was as if it could rip the sky apart. The middle-aged man's eyes were filled with caution, but when he saw the silver ball, he sneered. You're biting off more than you can chew. With that, he didn't take out a treasure. Instead, he pointed to the air and purple spiritual energy appeared on his finger. The moment the spiritual energy appeared, it turned into a purple dragon. 
The silver ball suddenly stopped as Wang Lin changed techniques and shouted, change. Wang Lin immediately knew that this desperate emotion was the sliver of domain inside the middle age man's technique. This domain was like divine retribution. There was no way for him to defend against it. If he were to take out the restriction flag and defend with layers of ancient restrictions, the feeling wouldn't be this strong. After all, when he fought with soul formation cultivators, the restriction flag was a must. But at this moment, in order to experience the domain, he didn't defend himself at all. As a result, it could be said that he was unarmed and naked against this soul formation cultivator's domain. The old man's eyes lit up and he reached out with his right hand. Suddenly, a sliver of purple gas came out of Wang Lin's forehead and formed a ball in the old man's hand while Wang Lin recovered his senses. Wang Lin closed his eyes. At that moment, he was able to fully experience the middle-aged man's domain. Such opportunities could only be wished for and were very valuable. The old man's hand kneaded the purple ball and crushed it. The middle-aged man's face was very ugly as he stared at the old man and said, I'm guessing that senior is here to allow your disciple to experience domain in order to break into the soul formation stage. The old man let out a mischievous smile. He pointed at the person next to the middle-aged man and said, You, come up. It is your turn. The person the old man pointed at was an old woman. Her eyes were slightly dim as she stared at the old man and said, Although senior's cultivation level is sky high, that doesn't mean you can order my white cloud sect around. The old man mumbled a few words. He impatiently took out a dirty, an old bag of holding. He searched through the bag for a long time and finally took out a black, wooden token. There was still grease and vegetable leaves on the token as he casually threw it into the old woman's hand. The moment the old woman saw the token, her expression changed and she shouted, ancestral spirit token. The middle-aged man immediately reached out and grabbed the token. He formed a few seals and placed it on the token. The token suddenly revealed a rainbow-colored light that lingered. The middle-aged man suddenly let out a wry smile and respectfully said to the old man, since senior has the ancestral spirit token, we must obey. But is senior sure that you want to use the ancestral spirit token to have all of the soul formation cultivators of the white cloud sect help your disciple experience domain? The old man proudly smiled at Wang Lin and snorted at the middle-aged man. He shouted, of course. Now, stop with this nonsense. You, come out. With that, he pointed at the old woman. The old woman pondered for a bit and respectfully nodded. She moved forward, looked at Wang Lin with a complex expression and said, you have a good teacher. If had a chance to experience domains when I was trying to reach the soul formation stage, I would have had a much smoother path. Ah. With that, she opened her mouth and spat out a sliver of pink spiritual energy. The moment it appeared, a nice-smelling fragrance began to spread. The pink spiritual energy shot toward Wang Lin like a sword. It stopped three inches before Wang Lin and turned into a pink mist that then surrounded him, slowly experienced this old woman's domain. Inside the pink mist, Wang Lin felt very warm. His spiritual energy and nascent soul gained a sliver of laziness. As his killing aura and his determination to cultivate began to fade, Wang Lin felt sleepy thanks to that sensation. It was as if nothing nothing mattered in the world. But at the same moment, a ball of killing aura flew out of his bag of holding and entered Wang Lin's body. Shortly after, a powerful killing aura washed over him like a bucket of cold water dumped over his head. The killing aura spread throughout his body. The old woman was surprised. She gently waved her hand and retrieved the pink gas. However, Wang Lin was not afraid. Although he couldn't resist the sword, if this was a real fight, thanks to the sliver of divine retribution, all soul formation cultivators would be wary of him, no matter how powerful their techniques were for example. Against this flying sword, if Wang Lin were to send out the sliver of divine retribution, then the cyan-robed man would have to call back the flying sword, otherwise, they would just kill each other. When the cyan-robed man's flying sword arrived ten feet before Wang Lin, a sudden wave of killing intent came from the sword. Within that killing intent, there was a bit of a mysterious domain. This domain was very different from the two from earlier. It was as if it carried a sliver of the heaven's might. Wang Lin immediately noticed that his own spiritual energy showed signs of weakening. If his spiritual energy was replaced by his life force, then his life would be quickly drained away. This strange domain caused Wang Lin's expression to change greatly. This domain currently only affected his spiritual energy. If it could affect life force, then it would be a terrifying heaven-defying existence. 
The cyan-robed cultivator's expression was plain as he waved his hand and the flying sword returned to him. The sword disappeared back into his forehead as he slowly said, My domain is the passing of time. The old man's eyes focused on the cyan-robbed old man. Because of the fluctuations in spiritual energy, he knew that this cyan-robbed old man had an uncommon domain, but he hadn't expected it to be the passing of time. He took a deep breath, and the look of surprise disappeared from his face. At the moment, he looked very dignified. Although his face looked dirty, that couldn't mask his noble aura. Wang Lin suddenly felt disillusioned. It was as if this old man had instantly changed. If someone were to tell him that his old man was an expert from the country of Suzaku, he wouldn't be surprised, what an amazing domain. If you can reach the Wending stage, that domain will be heaven-defying. You guys, take the token. Goodbye. The old man took a deep breath. His body moved and appeared next to Wang Lin. He grabbed Wang Ling and they disappeared. When they reappeared, they were in an abandoned area of the capital. After the two of them reappeared, the old man was breathing very hard and his face was pale, but it was still filled with pride. He looked at Wang Lin, waiting to be praised. The current him no longer had the feeling of an expert. Wang Lin felt helpless as he placed the straw hat in his bag of holding and said, Senior's technique is beyond amazing. It's something Junior has never seen before. I really admire it. The old man rolled his eyes and disapprovingly said, You only know this one line. Wang Lin pondered for a bit, then Riley smiled. When in his life did he ever have to flatter someone? He really didn't know where to begin. The middle-aged man's desperate emotion domain, the old woman's comfort domain, and the cyan robbed man's passing of time domain all floated inside Wang Lin's mind. After a while, Wang Lin gained a sliver of understanding. This domain was something that was obtained when someone was perceiving the heavens based on their life experiences. Then what would his own domain be? Wang Lin closed his eyes. In that moment, his entire being changed. After a long time, he opened his eyes and grabbed a knife to begin carving. The wooden chips fell to the ground. His knife flowed smoothly like water and without rest. Gradually, the piece of wood took the shape of someone forming a seal with one hand. Wang Lin's eyes became focused. At the moment, nothing could disturb Wang Lin's concentration. What his mind was thinking about, and what his eyes were seeing were the old man's desperate emotion domain. The amount of wood shavings on the ground increased. The speed of Wang Lin's knife increased until it formed after images. After a long time, Wang Lin's right hand suddenly paused. The knife in his right hand broke in half. The blade of the knife flew into a shelf and let out a buzzing sound. Wang Lin didn't pay attention to any of this as he looked at the carving in his hand. The carving was already completed. The middle-aged man looked like he was alive. The carving contained a sliver of desperate emotion domain. However, this domain wasn't being released at all. It was completely contained within the carving. Wang Lin slowly closed his eyes. After feeling it for a long time, he gently placed the middle-aged man's carving on the ground. Wang Lin muttered to himself, it is still not enough, Wang Lin could only imitate the desperate emotion domain. Although he was eventually able to finish the carving, it was still very different from the middle-aged man's desperate emotion domain. Wang Lin looked at the broken carving knife. He waved his hand and the blade flew onto a shelf on the side. He took out another piece of wood and used his finger as a carving knife. Time passed by, and in the blink of an eye, ten years had passed. In these ten years, Wang Lin's appearance became even older. Strands of white hair appeared on his head, his straight back had become somewhat hunched, and he overall looked like he had entered his latter years. The amount of carvings had gradually decreased. In these past ten years, Wang Lin had only finished one carving, which was the old woman from the White Cloud sect. Actually, he had finished the old woman's carving nine years ago. Although it was similar to the middle-aged man's carving and far from as powerful as the original, he knew that this was because he hadn't reached the soul formation stage yet. The reason Wang Lin hadn't finished another carving was the cyan robed old man. No matter how hard he tried, he couldn't seem to carve the passing of time domain into his carving of the old man. He had tried for nine years without any success. Although he had crafted countless carvings of the old man, none of them contained the old man's domain. In the end, all of them were destroyed by him. On this day, Wang Lin looked at the carving of the old man. He let out a sigh and waved his hand over the carving. The carving turned to dust. Then, he stood up and opened the door of the shop. 
The gentle sunlight fell on his body as he sat on a wooden chair and looked at the passing people. The ironworks shop across the street had expanded several times in these past ten years. Not long after, a four-year-old boy peeked his head out from the ironworks shop. When he saw Wang Lin, he let out a smile and ran toward Wang Lin with a jug of wine in his hand. After handing the wine to Wang Lin, he asked, Grandpa Wang, I secretly stole this wine for you. Where is the candy? Wang Lin let out a smile. He rubbed the boy's head as he took out a pill the size of his fingernail. He threw the pill at the boy and took a drink from the jug. The boy quickly swallowed the candy and displayed a satisfied look. Then, he leaned his head on his two small hands and asked, Grandpa Wang, does this wine taste good? I see you drinking it every day. Wang Lin faintly smiled. At that moment, a sturdy young man came out from the ironworks shop. One could see a resemblance between this young man and the little boy from back then. When the young man saw Wang Lin, his eyes flooded with emotion and he said, Uncle Wang, you can't drink anymore today. Wang Lin laughed and said, Okay, just one more drink and I won't drink anymore. Da Nyo, how is your father? Da Nyo's face darkened as he replied, Same old illness. It's not a big deal. Wang Lin walked down the street he had lived on for all these years. All of the shopkeepers seemed to have heard of this. They all came out with a panicked faces and begged before Wang Lin, Shopkeeper Wang, you have to understand that this business is not easy to run. Next month, I promise, next month, I'll pay the rent. This was a new grocery shopkeeper that had moved in three years ago, it is true, Lord Wang. Business really isn't good right now. How about you wait for a few days? This was the fat in owner. Similar voices came from everywhere. He couldn't help but to wryly smile. He didn't know how it came to be, but in the past ten years, almost every house on this street owed him money. Even most of the shops now belonged to him. Every time there was a shop owner who needed money, they would pledge their shop to borrow money from him. As for Wang Lin's own shop, the owner came and sold it to him two years ago. Of course, the price was sky high. Even now, every time Wang Lin came out, these shopkeepers would come up and try to get on Wang Lin's good side. In fact, this had to do with the fact that Wang Lin didn't come out much. Sometimes, he would not come out for months at a time, so whenever he appeared, these shopkeepers would be nervous, afraid that he had come for their rent. In truth, the rent wasn't much money, but anyone who had lived here for a while knew that Wang Lin was really good-natured, so they started to delay their rent payments. Eventually, it became a habit for everyone to not pay rent. After all, no one in the mortal world would want to use up silver. Everyone thought, the more the better. Wang Lin really didn't care about this at all, so he just let whatever happened happen and considered it part of understanding the heavens. In these nine years, everything had changed greatly. Not many of the old faces remained. This caused Wang Lin to feel very regretful as he waved his hand at the shopkeepers and said, I'm not collecting rent today. You can all leave. All of the shopkeepers let out breaths and left. Wang Lin walked down the street with his hands behind his back. After a short while, he arrived at the end of the street. But just at that moment, a large horse being ridden by a middle-aged man charged toward him. The middle-aged man's expression was very ugly and there was fresh blood leaking from the corner of his mouth. He rode the horse past the corner, and just as he passed by Wang Lin, his eyes widened. He quickly pulled the reins, and as the horse let out a long neigh, he jumped down from its back. He arrived before Wang Lin, but before he could even speak, he coughed out a mouthful of blood. Within the blood, there were pieces of his internal organs. His face was pale as he knelt on the ground and said, Please save me, Mr. Wang. Wang Lin's expression was normal as he looked at the person. This person was the one who would always visit him on the holidays and give him a large amount of money, Xu Dao. Wang Lin said, If there is any problem, tell me, Mr. Wang, his highness is in danger. After hearing Xu Dao's frantic words, Wang Lin gradually understood what had happened. His highness had somehow angered a very powerful cultivator. Once that cultivator appeared, all of the cultivators around his highness backed off, unwilling to get involved. As of today, his highness was hiding inside the palace. The cultivator felt it would be troublesome to enter the palace, so he was unloading all of his anger on his highness followers. Xu Dao was very smart. When he noticed that something was wrong, he immediately ran away, but he was still hit by the cultivator, so he panicked. At that moment, he could only think of Wang Lin. 
Just as Xu Dao was speaking, a young cultivator walked around the corner. He looked very bossy as he walked towards Xu Dao. After Xu Dao saw the cultivator, his body shivered and he coughed out another mouthful of blood before slumping over. He looked at Wang Lin in desperation and pleaded, save me. With that, he passed out. The cultivator sneered as he looked at Wang Lin and waved his hand. Immediately, a black gas invisible to mortal eyes spread out and formed a giant skull in the air. The skull moved toward Xu Dao to devour him. This cultivator was evidently very cruel, as he included Wang Lin in the attack as well. In his eyes, although Wang Lin was only a mortal, because Xu Dao fled to where Wang Lin was, then their relationship must be deep, so he might as well kill them both. As for any trouble caused by mortals, his master will resolve the issue for him. Thinking about that, his expression became very cruel. Wang Lin furrowed his brow. If this cultivator had only targeted Xu Dao, then he wouldn't have acted. Although Xu Dao had been very respectful toward him all these years, that wasn't enough for Wang Lin to act. But now, this mere foundation establishment cultivator dared to include him in the attack. Wang Lin's expression was normal and his eyes were calm as he waved his hand as if he was shooing away mosquitoes. Suddenly, the skull seemed to have seen something very scary. It let out a scream and no longer dared to move forward to devour. It backed away instead. But it was still a step too slow. As Wang Lin waved his hand, the devil Shuligua appeared and devoured the skull. He loudly chewed the skull before swallowing it and then gave the little cultivator a fierce glance before slowly disappearing. The little cultivator's face became red and he coughed out a mouthful of blood. This happened because when the skull was destroyed, his soul sustained damage. Then, without a word, the little cultivator ran away in fear. Wang Lin coldly stared at the figure that was running away. He didn't kill him because he was nearly done with turning into a mortal and didn't want to waste effort on this little matter. Only a few short moments had passed between the little cultivator's arrival and his departure. Adding on the fact that the technique he used wasn't visible to mortals, and therefore did not attract the attention of mortals, most people just felt a cold wind blow by. However, there were a lot less people on the streets. The reason for this was Xu Dao, who had coughed up blood and fainted. Xu Dao's old home had already moved from this street eight years ago, so no one recognized him anymore. Wang Lin let out a sigh. With his hands behind his back, he walked into a grocery store. As he entered, the shopkeep quickly came to greet him. Wang Lin pointed at Xu Dao, who was passed out in the street, and said, Shopkeeper, please get two workers to carry him to my shop. The grocery store's shopkeeper hesitated for a bit. He inconspicuously looked around and then, when he realized that no one was looking, he said to Wang Lin, Shopkeeper Wang, we don't even know if this person is dead or alive. Let's report this to the officials. You might get into a lot of trouble otherwise. Wang Lin smiled. He patted the shopkeeper's shoulder and said, Don't worry. Find someone to carry him for me. With that, he turned around and slowly walked away with his hands behind his back. The shopkeeper looked at Wang Lin's back. He sighed and said, A good person. Shopkeeper Wang is really a good person. After he finished muttering to himself, he shouted, Little two and little three, come out and carry that person to shopkeeper Wang's store. Just as Wang Lin arrived back at his shop, two young workers carried Xu Dao over, and following Wang Lin's instructions, placed on him the floor of the shop. Wang Lin casually handed them a few silver coins, and sent the two young workers on their way. Then, he sat down beside the stove and began to silently ponder. If he doesn't help him, Xu Dao won't be able to live. Wang Lin let out a sigh. Considering how respectful Xu Dao had been for the past ten years, Wang Lin took out the most inferior pill from his bag of holding and pushed it into Xu Dao's mouth. Then he picked up the jug of wine and drank while waiting for Xu Dao to wake up. As for the little cultivator, he ran away in panic. He didn't care about alarming mortals, so he took out his flying sword and flew east. In the eastern suburb of the city, there was a temple. This temple was very quiet, and in front of it was a pond with lotuses and blooming pink flowers. The crisp green lotus leaves floated in the pond and the fish gently touched them, creating ripples that looked very calming a path made of cobblestone came down from the temple. On its sides were some willow trees. When the wind blew, the willow trees rustled. All of this created a very beautiful scenery. At this moment, although there was a breeze, the sound of the rustling leaves was suppressed by the sound of flying. The little cultivator suddenly landed before the temple door and coughed out blood. 
His face was pale as he opened up the temple door and ran inside. The few cultivators sitting cross-legged inside the temple opened their eyes. One of them saw how bad the little cultivator's condition was. He walked up and asked, Junior Apprentice Brother, how could a mere mortal cause you such heavy injuries? The little cultivator pushed the person aside and said, I need to see Master. Master, what is the panic? From inside the temple came a middle-aged man. This person's face was wide and his eyes were small. His large ears were very noticeable, but upon closer inspection, he looked very dignified. When this person appeared, all of the cultivators that were cultivating stood up and respectfully stood on the sides. After the little cultivator saw the middle-aged man he knelt on the ground and said, Master, someone destroyed my guardian spirit and damaged my soul. Master, please get revenge for me. The large-eared cultivator looked at the little cultivator. Then, he waved his sleeves and reached out with his hand. Suddenly, rolls of black gas gathered in the air, forming a giant skull. Next, the large-eared cultivator pointed at the skull, then grabbed it, and without a word, pushed it into the little cultivator's forehead. The little cultivator's expression became painful as black gas covered his face. He then coughed out a mouthful of black blood, and the black gas on his face slowly disappeared. His face was now red and the damage he had suffered from his guardian spirit being destroyed had been healed. The large-eared cultivator waved his right hand and slowly said, tell me what happened. The little cultivator took a deep breath and quickly recounted what had happened, adding a bunch of extra details. The little cultivator sounded very smart, as he spoke and the large-eared cultivator just silently listened. The other disciples didn't say anything, but they all had weird looks in their eyes. Before long, the little cultivator finished speaking. His eyes were filled with hatred. Master, I have already told him your name, but this guy was too arrogant. Master, no matter what, we have to teach him a lesson, he added. The large-eared cultivator's expression was calm as he looked at the little cultivator and said, Are you sure that when you saw this cultivator, he had no spiritual energy at all, as if he was a mortal? The little cultivator quickly nodded and said, Yes, master. That is correct. At first, I thought he was just a mortal. The large-eared cultivator's eyes revealed a strange light. He didn't seem angry as he said to the little cultivator, take a trip with me and lead the way. There is no need to use any techniques. We will walk. The little cultivator was very happy and quickly lead the large-eared cultivator out of the temple. As for the remaining cultivators, some wanted to follow, but seeing that master didn't say anything, they hesitated. One of them let out a sigh and said, Master spoils junior apprentice brother too much. A middle-aged man wryly smiled and slowly said, This isn't the first time. These kind of things happen too often. With master's wisdom, how could he not see the lies in junior brother's words? It is best we don't bother with it too much, with junior apprentice brother's personality, sooner or later he will get into big trouble, ah. Someone else muttered a few words. The first person who talked regretfully said, With master here, even if Junior Apprentice Brother gets into big trouble, he should still be fine. If it was one of us, then it would be hard to say, this is not the first time that we've witnessed Master favoring Junior Apprentice Brother. Even Junior Apprentice Brother's cultivation method is different from ours. Forget it. As long as we know it in our hearts, it is fine. If we say it out loud, it will make us sound stingy. I wonder which disciple of which sect angered Junior Apprentice Brother this time. From what he said, this person was mixed in with mortals. The Four Sect Alliance is really big and has all kinds of cultivators. I guess that cultivator is at the core formation stage, if he was able to destroy Junior Apprentice Brother's guardian spirit so easily, what is the point of us talking about this? With masters standing in the Four Sect Alliance, not to mention core formation cultivators, even nascent soul cultivators won't stand a change. They talked about it for a bit, then continued to cultivate. As the little cultivator walked, he felt very proud. He knew that Master had always been the best to him. Maybe it was because he was Master's personal disciple. Since he was small, every time he had problems, all he had to do was tell Master. Master would then take him and wipe out whoever he wanted. Throughout all these years, his Master had never refused once. He secretly sneered. Now that his Master was here, he would let that person die without a resting place and let that guy know the consequences of messing with him. Thinking about this, he secretly looked at his master and saw that he didn't have any expression. He secretly smiled because he knew that the more expressionless his master was, the more angry he was. In his memory, 
Every time his master took him to go wipe out someone that messed with him, his master always had this expression. Regardless of who he made an enemy of, when they saw his master, their faces all turned pale. Some begged for mercy, some tried to run away, and some even attempted to fight back, but no matter what happened, all three types of people saw the same ending. The pride in the little cultivator's heart inflated, making him feel as if he had just eaten sweets. He started to walk quickly, hoping that that person hadn't ran away already. As they walked, the large-eared cultivator suddenly stopped. The little cultivator quickly took a few steps back, and saw that the large-eared cultivator was looking at a stall that sold candy. The large-eared cultivator's eyes revealed a gentle light as he walked up and softly asked, How much is this candy? When the vendor of the stall saw the large-eared person, for some unknown reason, he developed a good feeling toward him and replied, Just one copper coin is enough. The large-eared cultivator smiled and nodded, then took out a copper coin. After giving the copper coin to the vendor, he looked closely at the different candies and picked one up. The little cultivator was startled. This was the first time he had seen the large-eared cultivator by candy, so he didn't know whether to laugh or cry. But what he didn't expect was the large-eared cultivator handing the candy to him, Fua, when I first met you, you were fighting with a bunch of kids over candy. Maybe you have already forgotten, the large-eared cultivator's eyes were filled with regret. The little cultivator was startled and couldn't help but think of his bitter childhood. If it wasn't for his master, then he would probably be dead already. His eyes became slightly red, and he whispered, I haven't forgotten. It is master who took me away from there and taught me cultivation. The large-eared cultivator rubbed the little cultivator's head and said, let's go. Take me to that person. As the little cultivator looked at the candy, scenes of his childhood replayed in his mind. He took a deep breath and carefully put the candy inside his bag of holding. He decided to keep it for the rest of his life, because this was something his master bought for him. This video will end here. Thank you for watching.